What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Forge Gaming Podcast number 21. 21? 21. 21. 20 Uno. And uh, I'm Troy, and I'm here with Judah. What's up, man? How's it going? As you can see, we got a couch. Really? <laughs> Sorry, couch. Troy got a couch. I got a couch. More like a futon. So I'm yeah. not even going to mess with that yeah. right now. Um, that'd, be, that'd be a little awkward putting it down. Or both sitting on this thing. No, I think it makes it more it's casual. It's a little weird. More casual. A little weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so we've got kind of two topics to talk about, both regarding Call of Duty, which, uh, by the way, I'm going to forewarn you right now. You're about to see some of the worst Call of Duty gameplay of your lives. It is mine. And ordinarily, I'm not, not a ordin- <laughs> ordinarily, I'm not a terrible Call of Duty player. But I've gotten to the point where I don't play it so much, so this is my first time playing this game or any Call of Duty game in probably like two months. So first couple games on, don't judge me. So if you know, I'm whatever. judging. Yeah. I'm judging. Anyways, speaking of COD, <laughs> COD. Uh, um, okay, so first topic. Um, people are up in arms right now about uh, yeah, up, up in arms about Modern Warfare Remastered. And uh, so a lot of people have already kind of made their decision that they're just not going to like Infinite, Infinity War, in, Infinite Warfare, sorry. <laughs> um, they're just kind of like not going to like it because they don't like the space thing, they don't like the movements, whatever. But the silver lining was always we get Modern Warfare Remastered. Everybody gets that nostalgia trip and you know it's supposed to stay the you know, that's how it is. And then they implemented the supply drop system, which people were all like, okay, it's only cosmetic, whatever. You know, we don't like the loot system because it's just extra money that they want from us, but that's business, whatever. Then they did the unthinkable. They added new weapons to Infinite Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered that were not in the original game. So they're basically touching that thing that was supposed to be the same. Now, Troy, you have your own thoughts on this, so I want to hear you first. I mean, here's the thing. For me, anyways. For me. It doesn't really bother me that much. I mean, you you play the game. Whatever guns you got, you make do. You do what you got. You know, you do do what you can with what you got. Yeah. You know, and second off, um, it seems like that's what the community wants. You know, a lot of people are up in arms about it. They're saying they're up in arms about it. But everybody's putting money into it. Yeah. You let the company know what you want by what you do with your wallet. By right. what you do with your debit card. Right, yeah. And that's the thing is that there is always that silent community. By the way, I want you guys to try and count how many times I get grenaded in these two games. Um, but anyways, like, you know, there's always that silent majority that's not the ones ranting on YouTube and, you know, all the other comments saying, oh, we hate all this. There is a community of people out there that are the reason that it is what it is. Yeah, the rich people. Yeah, I mean, the rich, the people that have no problem dropping the money on this stuff, and that's why it's continuing. That's probably, you know, we were just discussing earlier how just about every game will probably have some sort of loot system in it forever, because <laughs> it, it makes the company extra money. Why not do it, you know? But, you know, I can understand the Modern Warfare Remastered, uh, you know, complaints because, you know, it's it's supposed to be the thing that was going to stay the same. But for for most people, it was their first Call of Duty that they played, and it's kind of sacred. You know, they don't want it to be touched. And you know, I heard somebody talking about this the other day, where it's one of those things where look, there's already OP guns in this game. Okay, the M16 that I'm using right here, most of the time it is very no, bad time. <laughs> what are you doing? I was throwing a grenade. <laughs> Okay. I was throwing a grenade. <laughs> oh, uh, man. It, but anyways, um, so, you know, they're saying, like, it's, it's a game where there's already kind of overpowered weapons, and basically there's so many weapons that can kill you in, like, one or two bullets if you're using stopping power. So you're not really going to feel so much of a new gun. You're kind of just going to get killed, yeah. you know? It's not going to change it for you, necessarily. I think people are just upset with the... Uh, like the message that it portrays and you know that it's kind of tampering with it yeah and also the thing about call of duty and mo- most first person shooters is that it's not always just about the gun you know it's about how well do you know the map the team that you're playing with there's a there's a bunch of other factors um 
Now, if, if you're if you're a lone wolf and you like to run and gun it alone, you're gonna find yourself in gun battles and you know what? The person with the better gun is probably gonna win 80% of the time. You know, but what it all comes down to is skill. Yeah. You know, overall skill, whether you're playing Overwatch or COD or Gears of War or whatever yeah. game it may be, it's all about your knowledge of the game as now, a whole. I will say this, um, as far as I'm aware, the three guns that got added to Modern Warfare Remastered, there is a pistol. Um, it's like a 44 Magnum, kind of like we had in uh, Ghosts. There is a... It's kind of like an ACR from Modern Warfare 2, uh, an assault rifle. And then the other one is a fully automatic shotgun. Now let me just say, that one is the one I have the biggest problem with because it just like shuts out all the other shotguns in the game. Like, why even use the other ones? You know, you run around on shipment and one person has that, yeah, you're going to feel a difference in that. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Like the freaking Haymaker or the AA-12 or something like that. And the Expendables. Terry Crew. Terry Crew. Terry Crew and the Expendables. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like he's, he's like walking around, he's dual wielding them. Yeah. Dual wielding AA-12. I do that. Dun, 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 dun. But anyways, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. They changed it. Um... Stop buying it. Yeah. Stop paying for it. If you don't, if you if you hate this, if you don't like it, stop spending your money on it. You know, um, dude, I seen. You know, I'm not even gonna say anything. What? I mean, look, I I've seen other YouTubers like comment about this and complain about it, but then I go back and I look at their past YouTube videos. And they're like spending money. Oh yeah, on, on, on no, no, care no, packages and stuff. Like, like, well, and I'm like, well, you have to understand for for a Call of Duty content creator, also though, they are kind of expected to bring gameplay of said new, you know, ability or weapon, uh, whatever. Practice what you preach. Yeah. 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 You know what yeah. though? It's crazy. <laughs> there are like Allie, uh, T Martin, and Drifter. None of them are posting Infinite Warfare gameplay. They're just kind of done with it. Drifter is the only one who's even playing Call of Duty at all because he loves this game, and he's the one that you know that I originally watched a video of, of you know complaining about this, and you know Call of Duty's just kind of fallen off, and it's going to kind of lead us into what our next topic is. Unless yeah. you have anything else to say no, on this, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. So, ready, ready well, I, I do want to know what you guys have to say about that, though. I know that a lot of people are up in arms. A lot of people may you know be a little bit more carefree. You know, Troy doesn't really doesn't bother him. You know, whatever. But um, on to our next topic, um, the sales report for Activision has come out within the past week, and uh, basically they have confirmed that Sledgehammer, for one, is going to be making Call of Duty 2017, um, and then also they have confirmed that it will not be in space, and it will be boots on the ground. Boots, boots on, on the ground. ground. Boots on the ground. That means no more flying around. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Fly I, didn't around. Know, I, didn't know, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> no right. more flying around, wall running, and all that other kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah. Because I feel like, you know, Call of Duty just needs to be Call of Duty. Yeah. You know, um, Look, I, I still enjoyed ba uh, Battlefield, good lord. Uh, Black Ops 3. Yeah, Black Ops 3. I still, I still I, enjoyed Black Ops 3. I think 3. they did it the best. It was good. Um, you know, but I think they're kind of looking at it as, for one, how many how many space shooters do we need? A thousand. You know? I mean, not, okay, B Battlefield has even ventured into it a little bit with Battlefront. Okay, we got Halo, we got Destiny, we got Titanfall. I think Call of Duty wants to kind of get to where they kind of have their own genre again. Yeah. You know? They had their own genre, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it's it's interesting because Sledgehammer, by far, made one of the most futuristic games, in my opinion, you know. So, um, how is are they going to try and coincide the story, you think? Or do you think it'll be a whole nah, new... No, they're going to abandon the story. They're going to pull a ghost? As, as much... You, you know what? <laughs> The Advanced Warfare story is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. It was actually yeah, it was really the best good. part of that game. Yeah, it was. The, the campaign was great. 
Um, if they can, if they can, if, man, they, they haven't really messed up on the campaigns. No. Uh, campaigns throughout, even even Ghost Ghost's campaign was pretty good. Oh, great. Um, yeah, we're all we're all begging for Ghost to come back. Never gonna come back. Nope, it's gone. But uh, yeah, um, dude, I'm, I'm excited about Boots on the Ground. I think. I think that you know, Jeff, I mean, man, I keep going back to, to 2016, where there was like a thousand shooters that came out, and it was just ridiculous, and they were all kind of the same. It was like, why even play Titanfall, you right. know, if you're getting Infinite Warfare, you know? It's it, and I mean, Battlefield One was probably the only shooter that was different from the rest, right? Um, uh, that and that's not counting Gears of War, but uh, right. yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I, I think that them abandoning and really listening to the community, um, I think that's going to help them push themselves back up front where they belong. Um, yeah, this is this is Sledgehammer's opportunity yeah. to really bring people back to the Call of Duty franchise. Yeah. I mean, you have to think, they're also the ones that kind of changed the pace in the first place. Yeah. You know, it was right after Ghost, which was... You know, all modern, even Black Ops 2, you can consider a little bit modern movement wise. And then Sledgehammer is the one who took that big leap. Yeah. You know, they're the ones that decided, okay, people are tired of boosting the ground. And I talked about this in a podcast a while back. Call of Duty kind of got screwed over a little bit, at least Infinity War did. um, Because they came out with Ghosts right around the time that Destiny. And Titanfall first came out. Yeah. So they they kind of looked at it as having the more boring looking game yeah. because they were just kind of plain. You know, it was a modern game. It looked a lot like you know the Modern Warfare series, and so Sledgehammer was tasked to change it up. And now they have to be the one to go back. You know, and you know they're just kind of having to play this flip flop game, and you know see what works. So Dude, I'll be mad at the entire gaming community if you guys complain about this boots on the ground game oh please don't <laughs> just oh my gosh it's just, it's no, we can't get it right they can't get it right yeah I know <laughs> I, th- I think they have proven though nice kill. that yeah thanks it's gonna be one of the only kills I get in this game by the way this you're gonna see me just lose all hope in this game right here first of all snipers not staying out the whole time cause I can't snipe but anyways, um, you know, they Call of Duty's kind of proven that they can make both things work. Yeah. They've made boost in the ground work, and they've made the futuristic thing work. So I don't think, you know, swapping to one thing or the other is necessarily going to make it to where that's what we have now. Yeah. You know, I've heard some people say that they think, well, they're just going to stick with boost in the ground now. No, I think that Treyarch could make another good futuristic game. Yeah. You know, if they really wanted to. Um, so, you know... Uh, it's just kind of up to Sledgehammer now, and they, another thing Drifter was talking about in one of his videos is that they've had the longest amount of time to look at their feedback for, you know, a futuristic game like that. You know, they were the ones who changed it, and they've been listening, and yeah. they've, they've been watching all the other developers do it since then. So, three year development time plus that knowledge, I'd like to think they're going to come up with something pretty good. Yeah, hopefully, man. Hopefully, they can they can bring in some great actors, um, keep up a great campaign, um, make some let's get, let's get some good maps in here. You know, um, I, I've noticed with uh, with in- <laughs> just blowing up the place. I even got a good sniper there. Whatever, go on. I I I've noticed that even with with Infinite Warfare is that it's a whole lot of symmetrical maps. And so everything's the same. I mean, every map doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. You know, every map doesn't have to be this way on one side and exactly the same on the other side. Oh yeah, it's they go for what is a three lane yeah. uh, symmetrical map. Yeah, and they're, they're trying to cater to the freaking esports and well, all there that kind there of is stuff. a big and backing there. There's a big backing, but um, let's get a few maps where it's you know give us something different, give us something new. <clears throat> Don't don't I'm, not, I'm not, okay. I'm not talking about running on the walls, okay? But give us something like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like remember what goes where they had the dynamic maps where the map would change. I don't know if people really if, enjoyed the, that very. much. I enjoyed that. I know I, I did. Cool. I, I did. I, well, what, what was a strike zone? If you got a chem strike, it would you'd basically have a nuclear out map. Yeah. And then uh, 
then what was it that skyfall whatever one yeah. and i i enjoyed the freaking the michael myers and the predator crap and all that yeah they didn't ghost. You know, like all that was i look, thought that was cool i'm not gonna get all upset again about ghost 2 not being out right now and we're getting infinite warfare instead <laughs> because i would have loved to get that i miss extinction i very much miss extinction yeah extinction too. was fun I what, what, what if they bring back? What, what, what if they? Well, they can't bring back those two. Huh? Yes. Huh? It would be the biggest give up move I've ever seen if they bring back those two. <laughs> Here's the question: the question everybody wants the answer to. Sledgehammer's next game. Is Kevin Spacey coming back? Should bring him back. Why not? Did As he a die? Great actor. Wait. No. Did he? Dang. <sighs> Spoiler. Who's gonna go back and play <laughs> Advanced Warfare's campaign? Spoiler. Kevin Spacey dies. Spoiler. Now I gotta go back and put that on the video. No. Yeah. Okay. Nobody's gonna go back and play Advanced Warfare. Somebody may. No. Somebody will. Why? It's not I mean, even gonna be the same storyline. Some 12 year old kid. Why would Kevin Spacey back come and... back from a futuristic game? No, I'm saying as a, as a new character. Oh, uh, maybe you play as Kevin it's Spacey. It's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play this game. Get freaking. Get Brian Cranston. Get that guy. Oh, yeah. Get him in a freaking video Make him the game. Villain. Look at that. No. God, just Jesus. over it. Watch, watch. Here's where I just, I'm just like, you the know he what? Heavenly nades. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I've just given up. I'm just like, I hate that this game has windows that I can't oh. just look down alleys and be safe. I have to check every floor of every building. Did you building. just throw that at a tree? No. Did I? You look like you hit the tree. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm giving up. Why? Look, I'm giving up. Why even? But I get a couple more kills. Don't Next time I'm recording. I know. Good you should have. <laughs> <laughs> I carried the team, by the way. Oh yeah, no, I that's the thing. You. While I did terrible on both of these games, we did win. We won. We won. <laughs> we got the W. That's yeah. all that matters. Um, but yeah, it's gonna it, it's gonna be interesting to see what Sledgehammer comes out with. And you know, we got we got to still be really hopeful about Sledgehammer because you know they're kind of the under. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of the underdog here, you know. They, oh, they're the they're the newest one, and uh, yeah, that's just a, they have they haven't made a good game yet that that the community has liked, anyways. Yeah, I don't know. As far as multiplayer is concerned, they I just want to see some originality. That see, my biggest complaint with Infinite Warfare isn't you know the mechanics of the game or you know the supply drops, whatever. It's just that there's no originality to it. I mean. It it's basically looks like Inf Infinity Ward made a Black Ops game. Yeah. You know, they've got the the specialist, they've got the specialist weapons and abilities. A lot of them they, they are the exact same. You got the overdrive, the kinetic armor, and then they took zombies and I, look, I'm surprised Infinite Warfare doesn't have freaking nuke down. No. Why not? Might as well, huh? Might as well. What <laughs> they're gonna do it, watch. <laughs> it's gonna show no. up in DLC. <laughs> They're going to just rename it something else that's going to look the exact same. Infinite Warfare, Nuketown. Yeah, but I, I mean, you know, the wall running, the movement, it's just like, I don't know. I'm not going to go on another rant about Ghost, but man, I, I want to see Sledgehammer bring some originality to the table. Yeah, bring it. Do your thing. Heck, maybe they maybe they want to make the freaking World War II game. Or World War One game, or Vietnam, or... Yeah, I was going to say, you got to think of what's already been done. You know, we've had plenty of World War II games. Um, Battlefield already did a World War One game. Uh, Black Ops had a lot of uh, was it Vietnam or was it the Korean War? And Black Ops. Black won. Ops. It was a uh, Viet. It was that was Vietnam. Vietnam. Okay. And the uh, Cold War. The Cold War. Yeah. So you know, there's some different things they can tinker with, but it is nice knowing that because the, the developers basically said space is not a good setting for our games, which I completely yeah. agree with because everything's in space now. Every yeah. game. I mean, Infinite Warfare's got freaking space battles. You're playing Star Fox in this game now. So, you know, bring it, Sledgehammer. We're anticipating. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Freaking, freaking do freaking, uh, what do you call it? It's a freaking war I want them to, I want them to. The what? There's a certain war I want them to. Oh, yeah, I want them to freaking get that, get that freaking Af Afghan war. Or the Iraq war. Oh, like now? Yeah, or like, like freaking a couple years ago. Now or yeah, or a few years ago. Uh, Call of Duty SEAL Team Six. How about Call that? of Duty: The Hunt for Bin Laden. That's what I'm talking about. SEAL Team Six. Yeah. I want. How about this? Call of Duty: Civil War. Where it takes you like two minutes to load one shot into a musket. 
and then you run at people with bayonets. Oh, God. <laughs> Have you ever seen The Patriot before? I wouldn't want to do it that. It would be that. Nobody wants to play I, that. I'm going to be the one running with a flag down the battlefield. <laughs> yeah, that guy's dead. <laughs> Run around with a freaking flag. I want to be Mel Gibson. Yeah. From Main The character. Patriot. You could be Heath Ledger. <laughs> For those of you who don't know. Spoiler like, alert. Growing up, I had a massive amount of people. Look at this, look at this fight right Oh, here. my gosh. Do I even kill the guy? I think I lose him. I think I actually lose him. I'm about to kill yourself with the name. I know. You have to understand at this point, I, I, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. But, uh, yeah, people have been saying that I look like Heath Ledger forever. It made more sense whenever I had long blonde hair. But, I don't know. Rest in peace, Heath, Rest in peace, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. So, yeah. So, Troy, any final thoughts? Um, hopefully Call of Duty will come back with a vengeance. Yeah. Um, we got... It's gonna be ridiculous this year, man. We got a new Destiny coming out this year. Yeah, that that'll Again. probably be next week's uh, topic that we yeah. talk about. Um, some Destiny two news, not uh, really news, but you know. Excited for some Red Dead. Yeah, Red Dead's coming, coming out. Yeah, we got we got all kinds of stuff. If you want to oh, actually yeah. see, uh, I think it was pod last podcast or podcast before that we talked about our uh, favorite upcoming games for 2017, which is now. So, you know, I know this guy's killed me from that window like five times now. Yeah. I just haven't learned. I just keep running back. Um, so yeah, you know, let us know what your thoughts are regarding the uh, supply drop weapons in Modern Warfare Remastered and on uh, COD 2017 being boots on the ground. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You know, and then uh, yeah. So yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Um, hit that like if you like the video. Um, we're live streaming. I've been live. I've been live streaming a whole bunch of freaking For Honor. Yeah, I'm loving that game. Judah hasn't played it yet. No, because I've been get on it. I've been busy. Get on it. Get on it. Been busy. Game is fun. I know. But it's uh, Spartacus Legends meets Rise Son of Rome. Yes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly that. All right, guys. Well, thanks for checking us out. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, and we will see you guys online. I pointed at that camera, that one. Peace. Later, guys.